All right, guys, so I get it. We're all disappointed over the RTX 3080 launch. We've seen countless videos and articles. I get it. But I think it's time that we pick ourselves up and plan for action. The 3090 launch date is next week, and the 3070 is next month. Let's not give up, because after all, what are we? We are gamers. That means that we're going to practice, we're going to get the right gear, and we're going to make sure that when these cards go live, we're not going to lose to any bots or scalpers. So I'm going to show you guys a little boot camp on some awesome hardware and how to get ready to beat those bots. Let's get started. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Remember to subscribe. We need to build up this army to beat all these bots and scalpers and who knows what else is going on that we can't even buy a GPU. Even though we're there, refreshing, refreshing. Seems like it goes from notify to sold out. We never see add to cart. So we're gonna need to up our game and make sure that our gear is ready to handle the NVIDIA ordering process because this is some next level stuff. Yes, this video is a little bit sarcastic, a little bit in jest, but I will talk about actual gear that I've used to do well in certain games. So let's get right into it. You're going to need a very quick, fast, high refresh rate monitor. When you're refreshing your browser and you better be using Chrome, if I catch you using Internet Explorer, I'm going to have to kick you out of the group, okay? You better be using Chrome, even though it takes up like 128 gigs of RAM. Refresh that page refresh you're going to need at least a 240 hertz monitor if we had nvidia's new 360 hertz monitor technology with all that really fast low millisecond responses i think that's what people were using to order these gpus that somehow got their hands on some of these monitors because i don't see how it's possible that it goes from notify to sold out in about like half a second. So minimum 240 hertz monitor. I've used the BenQ 240 hertz monitor. Really nice monitor. The Alienware as well. Keep in mind these are all going to be 1080p. So they're not going to look too good. But they're going to be very, very fast. If you want any chance at all at being able to see that add to cart button. I definitely recommend 240 hertz and above. If you do ultra wide. You're going to be swinging your head from left to right. You're going to see that sold out button pretty, pretty quickly. So 1080p high refresh rate. That's all you need to know to get started. Next, we're going to be using a mouse. Now, I know wireless mice like the Logitech G Pro. Well, I've even used them before. Um, they generally have very, very fast speeds. The wireless got considerably better. But. This is the NVIDIA 3090 or 3070 we're talking about. I'm not going to have my launch ruined by a dead battery or some type of like Bluetooth interference. I don't care if they've won championships with this mouse. I want an NVIDIA Founders Edition GPU, so I'm going to use a wired mouse. Now here, almost any gaming mouse that's really fast, really light is going to do the trick. Make sure you see that add to cart really, really quickly. Um, I thought about using a Razer Viper mouse because I really like using those as well. But you really can't afford to have the Razer software page. You know, every time you connect the mouse, that thing pops up like install Razer Synapse. It's like, no, no, thank you. If I want to install it, I'll go out of my way, find it and download it. Don't pop up. Imagine while these NVIDIA GPUs are going from notify to add to cart, the Razer thing comes up. And all it takes is like two seconds and it's all sold out. You're going to lose to the bots. The Logitech mice, the glorious gaming mice, they're generally pretty good. Even the BenQ mice, you really want something that's just really light, low frills, has very fast response rate, and you're not going to get a pop up and mess up your ordering process. The next thing you're going to need is a gaming keyboard fastest response that you can find generally something like the mx cherry or the red keys those are generally going to be pretty good you can get a very clickety mechanical keyboard but i don't know what that clickety clackety noise does to your brain maybe as you're typing you're so satisfied by the sound of a mechanical keyboard that your brain is going to skip two seconds from what's occurring on the screen causing you to miss the add to cart button so i would get a very quiet keyboard Please don't get a wireless keyboard. I know some of them are great. I've been using the Logitech G915, um, even for like very competitive gaming, but I would not use that for competitive NVIDIA GPU purchasing. This is a sport, ladies and gentlemen, competitive NVIDIA GPU purchasing. This is the level that we're at. We're going against artificial intelligence, bots, scalpers. So we have our work cut out for us. So just get a nice, fast gaming keyboard. And now a quick note about RGB. 
A lot of these components will have RGB, and generally I put as much RGB as I can in my computer, in my components. I sync it. Sometimes I don't sync it. Sometimes I put everything in rainbow mode. We want everything to go pitch dark. We want to be very stealthy. So if your thing has RGB, I don't care if it's your mouse, your, your keyboard, even your monitor, some of them have RGB, turn it off. We don't need any distractions. I want you to be in the nice dark room. All you're looking at is that NVIDIA screen, refresh, refresh, notify, add to cart. That's what you want. You don't want to see notify out of stock like we did before. You want to make sure you're going to see that add to cart. So as much as it pains me, turn off your RGB. If you get the GPU, you can make Christmas lights around your whole house. Celebrate. But for now, please turn off that RGB. The next item you're going to need is going to be specifically gaming headsets. Don't listen to Reddit and everybody that says, oh, don't get gaming headsets. Get headphones for gaming, real headphones. Generally, I agree with that. Real headphones sound great. But in this case, you're going to be in gamer mode. You're trying to win an opportunity to hit add to cart. So you need a gaming headset with a mic. This is going to serve as communication. You may want to add a team member somewhere else in your house that will be also joining you in the ordering process so you can kind of give cues. Of course, your lips are not gonna be fast enough to catch the add to cart button. You're gonna rely on your fast gaming mounts, your fast brain, as well as the fast refresh rate monitor. You won't even have time to speak before it goes to sold out. So please don't try to do that. The mic is mostly there so that you can have somebody on the other line. And if you get add to cart and the checkout process, you're gonna be very happy. You can tell people about it. If you don't get it, you can use that mic to complain and just some other quick notes on how to better improve your chances at getting the NVIDIA GPU before it goes to sold out. If you're on Wi-Fi, just put the Ethernet cable there. I know nobody likes having those cables around. Wi-Fi definitely has gotten pretty good, but we certainly cannot afford to have any type of Wi-Fi dropouts or interference at all when we're trying to win the game. So just connect your Ethernet cable. If you're successful, take it out, go back to Wi-Fi, whatever you want to do. So that's a very important point. So now basically I think you're going to be pretty well prepared as soon as that thing goes live, have all your gear ready. And I advise that you train in a lot of FPS first person shooter games, literally all week, call out of your job. Don't go to school, just train, 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 train in all the reflex games. Make sure your reflexes are extremely quick. Memorize your credit card number. I don't care what you have to do. When that thing goes from notify me to add to cart, you better be ready. You don't want to see sold out. That's going to be very disappointing. So you must train because you're going up against bots. Who knows how fast they are? You're going up against scalpers that have a lot of incentive. So you better make sure that you're going to have the right gear. You're going to be well prepared. And that way I can stop making videos on how bad the 3080 launch was. And we can actually enjoy some games playing our 3080s. All right, guys. So happy hunting out there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys hopefully with a 3080 where we can dance in the fields and finally be happy. All right. Take care.